After months of discussion, the debate over whether armed guards should be placed in Green Bay schools has been put to rest. The school board voted this evening on this long contested topic. Local 5's Robin Oginye was there as the final vote took place. She joins us now live in the studio with more. Robin? The vote was unanimous, Tom. The school board says Police Chief Andrew Smith's proposal to have an armed guard in every Green Bay school isn't viable right now. There are other options they will consider, but some from the community argue that something has to be done before it's too late. The debate is over and you won't be seeing any armed guards at your child's school anytime soon. And that's a disappointing realization for some community members. Tonight they were talking about armed guards, fine, that's one solution. You can also arm teachers, you know, you can have retired military, but you have to do something. The school board argues the district has 11 resource officers that are assigned to schools around Green Bay. They are armed, but they also have a list of specific duties they complete throughout the school day. And school board president Brenda Warren couldn't justify the $4.5 million price tag this proposal would bring with it. A lot of our community members would like to see us, if we're going to spend that money, spend it on social workers and guidance counselors to help kids, you know, um, before they get to crisis points. And um, so, you know, it's a, it would be a reallocation of funds in our, in our budget. And at this point, we don't feel that we, you know, can afford to cut um, vital services for our students for this proposal. But is that what the community wants? I think it's actually over detailed. I don't think that they're dealing with the major problem of having some credible response to that threat. If it should come to that point, there's many things that you can do before that that can prevent it from getting there. But if you are faced with a shooter, you better be prepared to take him out in some way. And 11 um, liaison officers or whatever they're called for however many schools there are in Green Bay is hardly adequate. The school board is currently conducting a study to see if they should provide more armed resource officers to district schools. The details of that study will return in July, but until then, Freund won't be satisfied. I'd just like them to be safer than they are. Uh, our, our students are irreplaceable and they should be treated that way. The school board also discussed the possibility of implementing metal detectors in schools, but that was another discussion that raised many questions, namely that having detectors might make students feel like their school is unsafe. From the studio, Robin Uginye, Local 5 News.